gamers! Welcome Buccaneers to the Pixel Pirate Plays! This is your host the Pixel Pirate, bringing you daily first impressions on the latest and greatest indie games. Today on the show we are taking a look at a game called Electric Super Joy. Electric Super Joy is developed by Michael Todd Games and you can currently pick it up on their website on pre-order for $4.99. It is currently in beta, so do keep that in mind that gameplay may change uh, in the uh, release, the final release that is to say. Now the, the price will increase as well after release, so do keep that in mind as well. Uh, if, you pay, if you buy into the beta, you of course get the full game when it's released. So let's go and have a look at it. Uh, yes, it may cause seizures, so if you are epileptic, do keep in mind that uh, this is not probably the game for you. Okay, so I've done three levels as you can see. There are three worlds, which uh, equates to something like 45 levels. Plus, uh, I think you get some bonus levels here uh, for doing particular things. For example, win level 1 to 4 without actually killing anything, collect every star, and so on and so forth. So that's pretty cool. And uh, then you got secrets as well, even cooler. So let's uh, start l with level 1. So I lost an arm in the Disco Wars of 1515. I lost an eye in the War of Rock and Roll. I lost both legs. Defeating DJ Deadly Skills. <laughs> oh dear me. Uh, and I lost my entire butt to an evil wizard. This is the story of your quest. To get revenge for your butt. Of course, the most important thing on your body. Arms, legs, pfft, forget it. The butt is the most important. So here we are, and mysteriously we have legs and arms and stuff. So I don't know what the hell's going on there. Um, <laughs> in any case, this is sort of the tutorial level, but I wanted to sort of show you it because... I don't know, I, I guess... What I'm thinking is the music, the music. Now, the music actually affects your gameplay, which is really strange. You kind of want to play along to it, and sometimes it actually stuffs you up. Uh, I've, oh, gee, that was not good. I, I've kind of gotten beyond it, but I don't know. It, it's catchy. It's a catchy tune, and um, everyone's bobbing their head to all the music and stuff like that, so... There is a bit of a story to the game, and it's not like a heavy story by any means, but... Oh, gee. Uh, well, why am I having such difficulty with this? Yeah, there we go. It's not a, a heavy story by any means at all, but uh, it is sort of there, I guess. It's uh, intriguing as well. Uh, can I go through there? No, I cannot. I just uh, I saw those secret oh, levels and I thought perhaps yeah. there is uh, secrets. But there are not. Well, there are, but there wasn't one there. In any case, moving on. So it is uh, very platformer-like, as you might... Uh, oh, God, and yeah, did that. <laughs> it is very platformer-like, as you might might uh, have guessed. There are some levels that have a moving screen, and if you hit the left-hand screen side of the screen, you die. Um, and there are levels like this, where it doesn't do that. So the, the gameplay is very much... Uh, varied and mixed up at least uh, on that aspect and uh, I'm fairly engaged in in the gameplay even though simplistic uh, kind of graphics and I guess gameplay as well the the attack is as you have seen a, a sort of a dive bomb style of attack I guess and uh, I'm not sure if you actually get more weapons or what the go is but this is one of those levels where the screen moves and if oh, I yeah. <laughs> wow, he was very uh, animated about that. Oh yeah, um, yeah. And if uh, it hit the end of the screen like that, then I die horribly. So, but, oh gee, you got to keep moving, and it, it keeps up the tension. That is for sure. So I'm liking, kind of liking the artistic vision that the uh, developers or developer uh, used. Although having said that, I think it would get old fairly quickly. If I'm honest, like. With the whole sort of uh, oh dear, uh, 
and over there, and up. There we go. Uh, the whole starburst thing, I guess, uh, hasn't readily gone out of fashion, but at the same time, it's it's kind of. I don't know how to explain it. Oh, gee, that was not good. Um, yeah, it's probably used a little bit too much. Ah, oh, damn! I thought I could make that jump before they spewed out their uh, evil, evil sort of things, whatever the hell they are. Oh, there we go. Okay, rapidly approaching the east side of the screen. Oh, come on! I made that jump. That is just lies and and lies upon lies. A lot of the gameplay, the, the difficulty... Oh, I did it again. A lot of the difficulty that, that, that is inherent in the gameplay is at, at a lot of the points of the game you have control over your guy and then suddenly you don't because, of, for example, these jump things. Um, so when I had that double jump, the two arrows, I kind of lost control of my guy and I'm like, I get a bit disorientated, I guess. Oh, man. How the hell am I going to do that? Oh, yeah. Sort of, oh, jeez. Okay. The gameplay is fairly difficult in general, at least the platforming parts of it is. Uh, killing guys isn't all that difficult. Okay, I'll see what I have to do. Fairly obvious. Oh, God. That's just not fair. Oh, crap. Okay. So, I guess uh, this is where the... Uh, the Difficulty starts coming in, starts ramping up if you like. Didn't take too long. There we go. Ah, uh, quickly. And yeah, okay. I'm not sure how I'm going to do that. Rather quickly indeed, I think. Um, yeah. So that that's basically the long and short of the game. I mean, I don't think I'm going to progress any further than this. Uh, if I'm completely honest. So, let's just see where I got up to. Uh, let's see. Only level 3! Wow, I'm up to level 4. Okay, uh... <laughs> mildly embarrassing. Uh, <laughs> but in any case, let's, uh... Let's go back and see if we unlocked anything. And no, we did not. I don't think. No. No, unfortunately, we did not. So, uh, we'll end the video there, I guess. It's uh, probably a uh, good place to end it. Um... So that is Electronic Super Joy. As I said, you can pick it up on their website for the pre-order price of $4.99. Not bad if you like platformers. It is very much um, a good one in that the controls are tight and everything is uh, fairly stock standard for a platformer. The aesthetics are pretty nice if you like pixel graphics and so I would recommend it. So that is it for today, ladies and gentlemen. If you liked what you saw today, do please remember to hit that like button. It really helps the channel out. You can also follow me on Twitter at the Pixel Pirate. This has been your host, the Pixel Pirate. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.